absolutely love it. Ooh, stop car. I was just telling my man I may need brakes. But I don't think so. I'm so anal when it comes to my car. Like any creak, any any slight. I'm not stopping on the dime. I he told me not to take the car anywhere without him. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm on the way to Jimmy John's and my birthday gift, which I thought was a free sub, y'all. I was like, oh, I go get me a free. No, in the app, I got a free side. <laughs> so Ooh, I hope they cut it because I asked them to cut it. And they never. I don't know. Do they even read? Is it just me or? Alright, the Jimmy Subs got a smile. Hmm. I got my sub. I got the spice East, East Coast spicy Italian. What is Drina's patience level? And I know my family and friends will say, you know, Drina has the patience of Joe. Like, my patience sometimes scare me how patient I am. <laughs> I have so much patience. It's ridiculous. But this, but my niece tests my patience, y'all. She, I felt my patience was run, my well was running dry. That's how I felt. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was at depletion. Hey loves, another day. I'm back. It's Tuesday. What's the date? Tuesday 2nd, 3.15. I'm on the way to go get Majesty from school. So anxious to see baby girl and her and hear about her day. It's the first day back to school for her from spring break. So I'm excited. I miss her. Today was a very chill day. I did some work, but I didn't get everything that I needed to get done because I'm waiting on one of my clients to send me an email. So I hate when I have to wait behind others. Ugh, it's terrible. I don't like waiting. And I'm stuck because I need their email passcode so I can complete what I need to complete. So it's like, ugh. anybody have that issue? I just don't like that at all. I don't like to wait. I'm impatient. Okay, maybe it's a Pisces thing. I don't know. Uh, I'm very, very impatient. But yeah, <laughs> gotta stay hydrated, y'all. You're drinking your water? This is my regular tumbler. My daughter got me a big old tumbler. I don't even know how many. 30 something ounce tumbler. 32 ounce tumbler for Christmas, which I love. But when I'm driving, I use this for my water, which I'm gonna start not having it so cold. I don't really like cold water. Comment down below if you like cold water. I don't care for cold water. My daughter's the opposite. She likes cold water, likes it with ice. But I don't tend to drink a lot of it if it's cold. If it's not cold, I'll chug a whole lot of water. I drink mostly water all day. And then, like, for dinner, I will have, like, eight ounces of a tea. And I usually buy that um, peak tea that's, like, half lemonade, half tea. And it's, like, it's not even 100 calories. I think it's 100 calories. Maybe it's 70, something like that. Maybe 70 or 100 calories. But I don't never drink a whole lot of it. I'll probably drink like eight ounces and I'm done. And it's perfectly sweet for me. I've been making teas. I have a whole bunch of Tivana. Anybody a Tivana? Ugh. I love Tivana when they had their actual brick and mortar stores back in the day. Starbucks had opened for the tea toddlers like myself. A whole store like Starbucks where you can go and get tea and different tea drinks and buy tea and have all this tea stuff. You know, um, strainers and steepers and cups and mugs. It was awesome. When I tell you I, I spent a grip up in there, I spent a grip. I will, Every time I go, I spend over 100 bucks. I, I think at one point I bought every tea mechanism thing they had up in there. The, the pitcher for the cups, the pitcher for if you want to make cold or hot, you know, big vats of it and tea and mugs. And I wish they bring that stuff back because, honey, I would definitely be in there like like a tea, like like somebody who loves Starbucks. That's me with tea. I absolutely love tea. Absolutely love it. Stop car. I was just telling my man I may need brakes. 
But I don't think so. I'm so anal when it comes to my car. Any creak, any, any slight. I'm not stopping on the dime. I he told me not to take the car anywhere without him. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Anyway, I just wanted to say hey. I got to go and get a little mess from school. But yeah. Oh, my loves. I've uploaded a video of, of our spring break escapades in North Carolina. I didn't get a lot when we were in Michigan because I just really went to get go get my niece. I picked up my niece so she could spend a week with me. But she lives in Michigan. So I didn't do much uh vlogging on that trip at all because it was literally a three hour trip there three hour trip back um so you know i didn't do any vlogging really with that but that vlog is up so make sure y'all check that out that vlog is up i think this week is i don't know i don't have nothing planned for today other than work and I was editing my video, so I finished that. Oh, I have to edit another video. I have a Timu haul, y'all. Thank you for answering my poll. I appreciate it. But I do have a Timu haul coming up. My first order ever with Timu and a sponsor. <laughs> Love that for me. So, yep, yep. I'm excited about that. I'm really, really excited because I absolutely loved everything I got. Everything. I loved it all. There's nothing like ordering crap, or not crap, but ordering clothes that fit. There's nothing like it. I'm in my era where I'm really settling into my size 14. I'm really settling into my size 12, 14, just depending on the brand. Um, really settling into that. Sorry, y'all, it's a little bumpy on this road. I told my mom I wanted to slim up a little bit more. I'm already toned pretty much because I did a lot of weight lifting. Gosh, but with lifting weights really made me like ravenous i was hungry all the time so i'm gonna start running yes i wanna i wanna start running on the treadmill or jogging i want to start jogging I'm, 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 we'll take it in little strides take you know take it in stride but i would love to start running i want to do a lot more cardio and hit exercises trx weight you know using my own weight so I should be documenting those exercises coming up. So look out for that. Um, getting back into the gym. I've been away from the gym for a bit. I've lost weight because I'm maintaining. I'm uh, learning how to, you know, what, learning a diet, like learning my diet and really tweaking my diet. Sticking with a diet has always been an issue for me. Like I would start off and fall off. I would start and fall. Same thing with exercising. I'll start and fall off. I, I was never really consistent. But now that I see that being consistent, really sticking to a regime, really sticking to your diet has really, really changed my life. Like, I feel so much better. I feel so much healthier. All those aches and pains and joint issues I still have, but they're not as severe. Um, and seeing my, you know, well, I had fibroid that had hysterectomy last year in March. That thing was huge, y'all. Oh, my God. It was so big. But now oh, I got a flatter belly, you know. Um, I do want to do some type of cleanse. So if you guys can recommend me a dietary or, you know, cleanse tablet or a tea that you find that you really, really like, that's not going to, it's gentle, that I'm not going to feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I would appreciate if you guys will comment in the comments, you know, what has worked for you if you've tried it. I'm interested in trying some type of cleanse. But I don't know which one. I'm just starting to research that. So if you can let your girl know, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, we really appreciate that. So let me pay attention to this road because it's now kind of like rush hour. And yeah, I'll catch with y'all later. Bye. Hey, hey, lovelies. It is lovely Wednesday at 3.22 p.m. I am on the way to go pick up Little Majesty from school. Do a little different scenery other than my office. I know y'all probably tired of seeing me in my office. But girls, I work, you know. That's all I do these days. I work and I work some more. Yep. <laughs> my, my little spring break was so much needed. Um, it was so much needed. I don't even know. I needed that. I needed to regroup and focus. And my, my mama love on me because y'all, I've been going through it. 
um, check out my vlog that I had about um, business clients or clients that how to handle business clients that don't play that don't pay because I'm going through it I had um, a client that was referred to me by a, a close friend and professional you know like mentor she referred this client to me and was the biggest client that I've had thus far in my fledgling business I've been in business almost five years five years in December um everything was going good but they just I've noticed that they start started paying their invoices later and later so I think the last invoice for them was like maybe 20 days late and so I sent them a you know friendly hey pay your bill um I know I need to get better at that I'm, re I I'm restructuring but they turn around and sent me a 30 day notice. So it's like, okay, well, everybody has, you know, I, I, you're allowed to do whatever you want to do if it, we're not a good fit or whatever, but you still need to pay your bill. Girls, you know, they, they just cut me out. Just, we had one last meeting and we didn't mention anything about no, the, the two at that point was two invoices. And we're talking some major money here and they haven't paid. So yeah, I'm kind of going through it financially. Like it's really set me back. Um, you know, the only thing I can do is rely on God and, and pray and, you know, kind of be at, I mean, I'm trying to be at peace with it. Like, let him handle it. Let him handle my finances. And, um, you know, of course, I give my business to him and all of me and everything I have to God. I, I, I don't know what to do, you know. I did send them on to collections. They're almost 90 days late at this point, and I don't see them, you know, uh, you know, I just leave it in God's hand. If the God put a convention on their heart that they pay me what I'm owed, I worked for, you know, I could see if there was a dispute or something, but there was no dispute uh, that I know of. Um, I performed the work, did the work, sent them the invoices, and nothing. So, yeah, your girl's going through it financially on that front, and it's not fun. I worked really, really hard to get to a point where... You know, everything was going good, but that dang devil, he know how to suck the joy right on out of you, don't he? He sure does. He sure, come on now, peoples. He sure does. You know, I always say the devil is a lie. He is a lie. So pray for your girl. You know, keep me in your prayers. My company, your prayers that, you know, this too shall pass. That I'll be restored, fully and wholly restored in his name physically mentally financially everything um but but yeah it's more to talk about the more i'm not trying to go to go into that space where i'm feeling discouraged and i'm feeling you know like i can't just let this 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 one instance ruin so much that i've built and um that I worked hard for so yeah so that's enough so I hope everybody's having a great and wonderful Wednesday. Um, drop on the comments below some words. I would appreciate some words of encouragement, wisdom. Appreciate it. I was watching this young lady that she's, I'm, I'm a new subscriber to her channel. And she was we're talking about the same stuff I'm going through. She's going through too. And, you know, little di you know different circumstances but same thing and i was just like wow i was always crying i sent her a I'll, I'll link it down below her channel check out her channel um she's a christian vlog vlogger and she touches on you know walking in in walking in faith and trusting his his word and yeah, it was such a blessing to watch her this morning because I really was feeling discouraged. I was feeling down. I was feeling like, you know, bills are due. You're not, you, you don't have the amount of income that you had before. I have a lot of, you know, it's just a, a multiple of things. I have my daughter graduating. She's going to college and all the things that I wanted to do. Can I still do them now? I want to move. Can I still do them now? Is that possible? What does that look like? And, you know, I have to think, I have to, really rely on my faith and and believe that all things are possible through him if god wants me to move he's going to make it happen if god wants if god you know god wouldn't leave me out here stranded 
He would he would provide my every means. He would provide my income, food, everything, my housing, um, car. Zuh, cause my daughter has one. <laughs> I'm paying for. So, yeah, I just had to. You know, it was a, it was God saying, "Stop, be still. I got this. Don't worry." And it was a message that I needed in the time I needed. It was a message that came on time. Everybody had an on-time message. That was my message to me, that he hears me, he hears my prayers, he sees me, and he's going to take care of me. When, I don't know, but I know that he will. And it just like renewed my sense of faith. I'm a very, I have faith, but you know, every, we're human. We, we have moments of like doubt or, you know, anxiety and so if you're experiencing that or you're going through something like that, spiritual or, you know, financial or, you know, let's take it to God and let him be our good father that we know he will be. He will take care of us. So, yeah, I feel much better. I really needed this to hear that this morning. Because, girl, I was like, you know, you think of that. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm doing good. You know, money is flowing. I'm trying. I'm saving, and it's like, huh? You know, the devil, man. I must be doing something good because he tried to. He tried to get me. Uh, uh. Not today, Satan. Not today. But yeah, I will talk to up with y'all later. Let me pull up in here in this this here elementary right and get my baby girl, and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Hey, lovelies. I'm off to get lunch. Okay, so I'm still on my birthday. <laughs> my birthday was March 9th. Um, but I never went around and got all my freebies. So today I've been running some Jimmy John's for like a long time. Um, my daughter does not like Jimmy John's. So it's a Friday and I'm doing things, all things me, right? So for lunch, I want Jimmy John's. So I'm on my way to go to get Jimmy John's. I wish they delivered, but they don't deliver to my, my area, my house. So I'm enjoying the little bit of sun we getting because out in the horizon looks like it's about to be all hell break loose. With, I don't know. We've had rain, snow, sleet, all in one day. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm on the way to Jimmy John's and my birthday gift, which I thought was a free sub, y'all. I was like, oh, I go get me a free. No, in the app, I got a free side. <laughs> so I'm going to go get my my little lunch. I have pickles from the mommy baby. He always buy me pickles. So I don't need no pickles, but yeah, I'm excited. My little lunch was like cheap as hell. Okay, eleven dollars, y'all. Eleven dollars and thirty nine cents to be exact. It was cheap, cheap, very, very cheap. Why I feel like I'm in the middle of the road? Oh, hold on. Okay, y'all. Sorry, I'm back. My daughter's father texted me about sending her some funds, which is just child support, dude. It's just, I don't understand how you supporting her for a graduation in lieu of child support. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. We ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> that's neither here or there. I'm not ruining my Friday. Ooh, happy Friday to me. Yes, yes, yes. And um I got the I got the heat on super hot, yo. Come on. The four-way stop is ridiculous. Y'all ought to know how to do a four-way stop. Oh. How is it so difficult to do a four? I think everybody needs to go back. And do a refresh on the mechanics of a four-way stop. That's just my disclaimer. I, I mean, I don't know why everybody looking like I don't know what to do. It's there. It, well, anyway, I don't know how I'm the only one that remembers it. <laughs> but anyway, it's such a lovely day. It's nice and shiny. I'm gonna enjoy the sun. It's a very very lovely day. Um. A side note, this wig is look. This is an old wig, y'all. This wig is. I need to wash it again, but 
I love it. I love this type of hair, like the loose waves or whatever. Um, it's synthetic. I think this is a sensational um, that I've had for a minute that I've revived because I didn't want to give it up. <laughs> and I'm doing no extra frivolous spending at all. Because, you know, your girl's saving to move and she's, well, she's got a lot to save for. She's saving for her daughter moving to college, daughter's graduation, daughter's pictures and the graduation party and moving. That's, that's ambitious. But I think all things are possible, right? Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Yes. Let me keep saying that because I've had some blows, y'all. My previous previous vlog, I talked a little bit about my um, check that out. Um, my business and the little struggles, not little, the struggles I'm going through with my business, and how you know I'm just trying to not be discouraged, trying to be you know faithful. I need to get back in the word. I know one thing. I started off the year hot and strong because I made it a mission because I feel like I need to be more in the word and read the bible every day so i bought a bible and three uh, a bible guide 365 um i'll link it or show the picture i'll link it in the description too but girl i started off and fell off in february and we are in march i mean where are we at oh yeah we are, <laughs> we just in april so i need to get back into it i know I, in my, it's been on my heart okay uh, okay uh <sighs> Just pull right out in front of somebody. Just dim with. Anyway. Jesus. Jesus be offense. Okay. Oh, curbside pickup. I'm just going to park over here. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I said that I'm going to pick up my Bible today and get back into it. I think I fell off sometime in February, maybe even January, y'all. Not, it wasn't that bad. But I want to say I fell off in February sometime. Yes, I need to, I need to, I need to get back into it. Because I said this year I was going to start off with reading my Bible every day, journaling, you know. I just felt convicted that I needed to do that. And I better do what the Lord's telling me to do. You know what I'm saying? Because he just he'll be, he'll be tapping you. Then he'll be like, <laughs> you know, I don't want the, I want, I just, I just want the tap. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me go up in here. It's Jimmy John's curse. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Ooh, it's a little busy up in there. Um, well, we're heading back home. Ooh, I hope they cut it because I asked them to cut it. And they never... I don't know. Do they even read? Is it just me or... All right, Jimmy Sub's got a smile. Hmm. I got my sub. I got the spice, East, East Coast Spicy Italian and regular chips. And I broke down and I normally just get teas or water. But I broke down and got me a cherry curl, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I did. I broke down and got me a cherry Coke. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Oh, I need to get gas. I got three lines, y'all. I'll be saying I don't like I don't like to be empty. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. 
I'm half a tank. I'm below half a tank. Usually I get gas when I'm half a tank. If I'm below half a tank, girl, no. Uh-uh. That's a pet peeve of mine. I can't do it. We I got a big old hole in this parking. That's what I went. I was like, what is that? A crater? Literally went in the crater, y'all. Okay, come on. Let's go, woman. Mm -hmm. Come on. Move your move your move your butt. Move your booty talks. This is the same part. This is the same plaza, the BMV, where my daughter got her um pastor driving's test over here. I'm in Barbington, Ohio. And my friend calls it Barb, Kentucky. Oh, it's snowing. I'm sick of Ohio. I'm sick of it. Lord, please answer my prayers. And 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 um let I want to move to the beach, Lord. Just I'm so over Ohio. I'm so over it. It's spring. How is it snowing? Huh? Like, ew. <laughs> Ew! Why? But yeah. My, oh yeah, my friend. <laughs> my friend says Barberton, Ohio is like Bar Kentucky. <laughs> I said, "Oh, <laughs> you ain't right, girl." I gotta meet up with Cat. I wonder what she's doing. We haven't seen each other um, in a minute. She moved to Columbus, and she's you know moved in with her man and. Stir. Columbus is like an hour and 45 minutes and I've just been busy. She's been busy. So we didn't even do anything for our March or for our friends group. We usually do something. We go out. We have fun. We, you know, have a whole day planned for March birthdays every year. And we didn't even do anything this March. Um, you hear that? That's like little. In, let me turn around. Let me turn the camera so y'all can see what's going on here in Ohio. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I can't. Just know it, it's crazy looking outside. It's absolutely crazy looking. It's little miniature hail balls coming down. I don't even know what it is. It's not sleet. It's like wet rain. I think it's like a mini hail. It's hitting the car like, ding, like little pings. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, Easter was such, it was fun. So when we came back from North Carolina, our spring break, we came back on a Thursday and I took um, baby girl back on, my niece back on Sunday to Michigan. Because I needed a rest. I needed some mental rest. Uh, mental capacity was stretched with my niece. It really was. I thought it would be a walk in the park last uh, a walk in the park with two little ones. They're both close in age. They're girls, four and five. You know. No, it was not a walk in the park. It was hell on earth. <laughs> it was, I love my niece, but her mama, that girl has no uh, no training. No home training at all. Nay. Like, I would be embarrassed if that was my child going out in the world acting like that. Like, seriously. Just saying whatever, doing whatever. It sounds like she no one's ever um corrected her. You know, like I I I feel it's okay for a child to have their own opinions and expressing themselves, of course. But it's another thing to be rude. And have no respect for your adult. That, that's all I know. So, yeah, it's okay. I'm just going to have to keep getting my aunt. My, my aunt. I'm just going to have to keep getting my baby girl. That week was a week that tested my patience. I'm a very, very patient person. By fault, I'm very patient. I was built with an extra dollar, like an extra bucket of patience. I have the patience. Somebody told me. What is, somebody asked a friend of mine or family member, what is Drina's patience level? And I know my family and friends will say, you know, Drina has the patience of Joe. Like, my patience sometimes scare me how patient I am. <laughs> I have so much patience. It's ridiculous. But that means test my patience, y'all. See, I felt my patience was run, my well was running dry. That's how I felt. It was it was that depletion. It was like danger. It's like when you're driving and you you get that little sign that says like if you don't pull over in 40 miles, you're gonna be walking. That's what it felt like. That's what my patience was doing. It was, and I'm texting her mama like, does she normally do this? Does she normally do that? How come you didn't communicate with me that she's got either you know um, behavioral issues or she has um. 
auditorial things that she, you know, that she can't stand or she becomes very scared of. I don't want to traumatize or add more trauma. So the last time I saw baby girl was when did they move to Michigan? The week before they moved to Michigan. So that was Christmas. I'm oh yeah 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 yeah. They moved to Mi Michigan in January, the second week of January or January 20th or third week of January. That's when they moved to Michigan. And I made sure that I had sent her Christmas presents and stuff like that to her mom so she, you know she can have her presents and stuff. Yeah. It was like a week or two after Christmas when it moved. So so the last time I saw my baby. So I'm like, um, and I gotta be the one to see her too because mama don't got a car and I always got some excuses from them when they lived in Hamilton, Ohio. So I always would go up there and see them. My brother and his girlfriend and you know, you know just terrible. They lived three hours away from me, but they always had some damn excuse about why they couldn't see me. So I would, I would make trek and go see them. Like, I mean, if I want to see her, I'm not with the kingdom to see her. I don't care about them. Love y'all, but I don't care about you. I care about the baby. See how she doing. But y'all, well, at least I know. I hope I she gets the testing that she needs that her mom keeps saying that she's going to do what she ain't never did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, girl, your girl patience was tested. Like, and my mom is so cute because I was telling her, I was traveling, you know, with the girls and my daughter and I was telling her some of the things that were happening. And I'm like, I'm not equipped because I don't to handle for these type of outbursts which are atypical from an average child, you know, from my child who's 18 now, or Majesty who's five. There, you know, she doesn't exhibit these things or I haven't been around any child that exhibits some of the, you know, auditorial things like, you know, flushing the toilet scares her or, you know, the bathroom itself, the whole bathroom experience, she's frightened and scared and screaming at the top of her lungs in the bathroom. Okay, so what? How do I diffuse that? Or what are some of the things that I should have did in the first place, so she, to help her address those issues before she get in the bathroom and not cause any trauma or upset her? Because I didn't even know. I'm just going in the bathroom. Dee -dee -dee -dee, let's go to the bathroom, and she automatically freaks out. And when my daughter and I and Majesty, we're all looking like, okay, now, uh, what the hell's going on? Is this typical? Is she scared? I mean, I'm your auntie. I mean, I've been in her life. Uh, you know, it's not like I'm just popping out of nowhere and saying, I'm your auntie. Let's go on a trip. No, you know. So, yeah, it's it's a whole lot, a lot of, and I feel like. The more the mama gets things, you know, take her to the doctor and diagnose some of these things as a family, we can address it and and tackle it as a whole. Because there's no way I want to upset her anymore. I don't want to do that. You know, we want her to be feel safe, and we want her to be secure. And she know we love her. We don't, you know, judge her for or anything. But I don't want her to be traumatized going on a road trip with her auntie. <laughs> Because I did not know baby girl was you know, was struggling with things like this. And, you know, the mom is like, oh, yeah, she, she, she handled loud noises. Okay, I said, but she's definitely afraid of going to the bathroom. I even, you know, made sure that, okay, maybe it's the gas station bathrooms. Or, uh, so I made sure we stop at a McDonald's or something like that. She still had the same reaction. So I'm like, sorry, y'all. So I'm like, you know, what's the deal? I'm texting mom like. This is what, is what what we're experiencing right now. Is there anything that we should do? Um, anything that will help calm her? Nothing. Crickets. If you're experiencing this and your child is going through these type of, um, you know, exhibiting these type of behaviors, even if you don't know or, you know, you're not sure what to do or you know you're at your wits end but you should still let let somebody know especially if i'm gonna have your child for a whole week and and then some you know let me know so i can be prepared anyway, if you have anybody in the comments what, what, what would you do how would you tackle this you know because I, I mean this is not the last time i'm getting my niece i plan on we plan on She's planning on spending some summers with me in, in North Carolina. You know, holidays, I'm going to have her for extended periods of time. So hopefully, by the time that happens, they'll be all be settled. But, you know, it scared the hell out of me. I'm like, what is going on, y'all? But my skin is skinning. I still got some of this spotting going on, some scarring. So, I think I need to do another, fa another facial peel.
I haven't been doing my facial peels, y'all. I need to get back on my facial peels so it can be lighter. But, mm -hmm. let me go in here and eat my lunch. <laughs> Catch y'all a little later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Happy, happy Saturday. Uh, don't mind my hair because your girl, I had to lay my, um, <laughs> my glue was coming up. So I had to respray and lay it down. So I'm going to take it out when I get to where I'm going. So, yeah, I'm on the way to my booze house. Right here. Went to wash the car this morning, came back home. I cleaned up the house yesterday. So today, this weekend is gonna be a true free weekend because I usually clean today. So, I cleaned up yesterday, took the car to get washed. Or I took the car to the car wash today, and went to our Akron Public Schools. Or was are giving away the Eclipse classes, so I had to go to one of their buildings to get pick up some Eclipse classes to this morning. So then I came back home and relaxed. And now I have a play date a little later with Majesty and her cousins and their mamas and then I think later my boyfriend and I he wants to go to the casino and I want to go to the movies so we need a girl these wine curls are really curly I like that I probably need a bigger wine curl or maybe take bigger chunks of the hair because I wanted it to be more looser I guess I don't know but anyway I, I'm I'm learning yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get it together. The wand curler was a little, um, was a little, um, I guess small, like the barrel was small, so, I don't know. But, but yeah, I just wanted to say hey, happy Saturday. It's so nice and lovely, so I had to take advantage of the morning and the day before it goes all to hail because you know with Ohio you don't never know it can be nice and sunny and then the next thing you know it's like raining and hailing and stuff but I'm on the, on the way to my boyfriend's house he wants to go to the store I wanted to veg at the house a little bit longer before I go to my play date with Majesty because Majesty's getting her hair done right now but he sounded like he missed people. <laughs> so, yes, I do. Spend time with him. He wants to go to the store. So, he wants to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. And I need to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. Because I want to make me some egg rolls, girls. I want to I wanna make me some egg rolls. I know I don't. I don't. I, I just. Now, my family don't even like egg rolls. So, <laughs> I'm the only one. So, I want to make me some little egg rolls. To freeze, you know, make a whole bunch and freeze the rest. So, I mean, there's a few things I need to get. I'm not going to the shop. I just need to get a few things for the egg rolls and some few um, bath stuff and stuff for the household. Um, yeah. So, that's it. So, I hate doing this. Sometimes when I do this, it gets all gummy because I just sprayed and laid it down. It wasn't. It wasn't looking seamless for me. I need it to look like it's growing out my head. Um, yeah, my boyfriend don't even live that far. <laughs> well, he practically at my house every day. And he only go home to do laundry. I don't know why. I got like a, a dryer and everything at my house, but I get it. Sometimes you want to be in your own space. And you know, veg at your own place. I get it. But. Y'all, I haven't been down to my boyfriend's house in weeks. Because he, he usually just come back when he's on the road. And.
Yeah, he just usually comes straight from when he comes back to my house, so he hasn't really been there. <laughs> so I guess he goes and checks up on his house and stuff and whatnot, whatever. But I, I like to give him his space, so if you, you know, you do your thing, you know, do your laundry, wherever you want to do your laundry, you know, you got his hair cut and stuff today, so I don't give him his space as much as I want to be up under him. I'll give him his space. I understand that. The importance of having your own space. Come on now. Like, come on. I understand that. The importance of having your me time. I love my me time. My Fridays is my me time. Oh my. My, 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 my. Um. But. Yesterday I was home by myself. I didn't even watch. No, I couldn't find nothing to watch. My daughter was out with her friends for a little bit. Majesty had a sleepover. And I'm like, I don't know what the heck to do with myself. I played my game I love to play. I love my Mabinogi. Oh, wow, it's a little Easter thing. Shut eyes closed. But. They just prefer to ignore. I, um, I can't control. I have to know it all. <laughs> Wait, anyway, yeah, I understand that. You know, everybody has their me time and stuff like that, so I have no problems at all. But I mean, <laughs> I notice when he misses me and be like, So, what you doing today? And I'm like, I'm going to hold out nothing, not my own thing. It's very rare where I'm like that. Where I just want to settle and I don't want to do anything. I know I wanted to go to the movies. That's all I planned for today. The play date thing kind of came up yesterday and I know Majesty doesn't um, spend a lot of time with, which is Majesty's my boyfriend's daughter. She doesn't spend a lot of time with her cousins, you know. So I was like, you know, okay, it's a nice, lovely day. Why not we, they were, they were talking about like, Spa day with the girls or the, the, the park. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. it's beautiful. Especially today, it was a great day to go to the park. So, so I was like, okay, you know, we can be sociable. I can be a little sociable today if I have to. <laughs> so. When Majesty get her hair done, we're going to be going to the park. Yeah, so when Majesty get done, so she said she just, she just took down Majesty's hair. So when I get to my boyfriend's house, I have a feeling he's going to be like, oh, we're going to go to the store. And then on the way back to the store, I bet you she's going to be done, so... I'm spending all day with them. I only want to spend an hour or two because I really do want to finish before my activities for the for tonight. Because Matthew's talking about, well, babe, I want to go to the casino. I know you want to go see the movie. I'm like, yeah, I've been wanting to see this movie since last week. Okay, last week was nuts. I mean, that's the week we came back from North Carolina, and then I had the girls and the movie, the new Ghostbuster movie. I didn't think it was appropriate for them, especially Majesty. She's such a, you know, scary stuff. I, I mean, I was like that. I don't even like scary stuff. But for them, I thought the, the some of the, the trailer that I saw, I'm like, I don't think that's appropriate for a four or five year old. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Alea, Alea likes seeing scary things. Her mama, they be having her watch scary stuff, but I know little Majesty. The whole time, do this tree that I'm scared. They just like, oh, to ignore. <laughs> so, no, I can't control. But she could go right back with her cousins, and we will have our our date night. I guess. I have to know but then he wanted to go. This he sent me this. The the day ones. It's a new restaurant in Akron. Brand new. It looks really nice. He's been wanting to go there. So we we will 
probably got to cram a lot of crap in our, our like date night and all that because he's not home a lot. Like the weekends is usually the you know the only two days that he has before he goes back on the road. And then even that, even Sunday nights, he's not home. Sun Sundays, Sunday afternoons, he's back on the road. Usually, like when he first started with this company, he was practically home every weekend. And he would leave out on Mondays. But now it's like you only know, get one solid day, which is a Saturday. Which is not even a Saturday because I think he got in last night really late as hell. He got in like midnight, which is today so he truly only has one day sometimes he gets in on a friday you know so personally i need time to recoup i need time to rest your body can't your body's gonna shut down on you eventually it's gonna be like uh, can we get some rest here today <laughs> Like today, I need some rest today. I don't know why my glasses, maybe I should. Is it better, y'all? It's giving. No, it's not better. The glare from my glasses. I'm sorry. Let me just put it back on oh, oh, my face. Wait. Okay. Let's see. I will catch up with y'all later. Let me focus. I'm off the floor right now. <laughs> And look at like so yeah. And I need to take this off. I think it's it's set enough. Ten minutes. It's been about ten minutes. So so yeah. Later lovelies. Mwah. I had to come back. So y'all can see how it's looking like it's growing out my scalp. Because <laughs> it wasn't looking like that girly. So I got in the car like, oh Adrena. What? You didn't glue it down well, girl. You didn't glue it down at all very good. What's going on up here over here? Ooh, they coming in hot. Okay, so you see that? You see how it how it looking? How it how it's how it's given? It's given scalp. It's given this is my hair. It is. I bought it. <laughs> That's mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, for real this time though. I'm gonna catch y'all. I'm gonna call y'all a little later. When we probably get back in the car or at the store. I don't know which one, but anyway. I hope everyone's having a great, fabulous Saturday. And I'll call y'all later, okay? Love you. Bye. Hey, <laughs> 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 I said, you know your problem, I see.